Hello, good morning, Leo. How are my lions this morning? Let's see what we have for the sign of Leo. Everybody's welcome to watch this video. New subscribers, new viewers, you know, the loyal of you have stayed with me for a long time and that's very much appreciated. You know, your, your support of my channel has been fantastic. <clears throat> And the channel is still growing, thanks to you. Here we go. Leo, my lions. Well, I'm going to take that because it popped out. There's a message here of some kind. <clears throat> Brings with it a lot of changes. Mm. I'm finally getting that you've been waiting for this. But... There's an air of caution with this. There's the kind of that air of that karmic wheel, you know, multiple chances waiting for the changes to come and the same old, same old. So kind of some of you feel like you're just chasing your tail, your head's up a brick wall, so to speak, as we English say. And that means, you know, every time you try and make changes or you're hoping for changes, it just leads back to the same old thing all the time. It does give you this message, I feel, <clears throat> will give you some kind of self-satisfaction. It's like a minor victory here on the emotional front. But you're certainly, you've certainly decided not to change the, chase this person. You feel you've got all the time and you feel eventually they will come to you. New feelings are developing here on your side. Mm. There's a lot of conflict around this relationship. And in the past, I feel there's been a lot of miscommunication. The person you're dealing with could have a lot of responsibilities. They There could be children involved. But I feel this person's attention is... Not entirely focused on you. It's it's like a very, very scattered energy. And this person is in sort of an emotional... Is, is in some kind of conflict. It certainly puts you on edge emotionally. You know, your emotions are like this. And But the thing is, Leo, you're a fire sign. You're very good at hiding your emotions. Ooh. Yeah, Sagittarius energy now. There's there's some Sagittarius energy in this situation. You could very well be dating other people. I'm picking up a sense of freedom in this situation. You don't want to get locked into anything specific and it causes conflict. There's a change of perspectives here. But your circumstances seem to be changing rather rapidly. You're acting, you, you know, you've pulled back a lot from this particular person. You know, and it's a general read. I'm sure you've got your reasons. You could even be dealing with another fire sign. Two fire signs together. Mm, that's very, you know, very, very, very strong connection. It's very intense. making a judgment call. You could view this person as very judgmental. They could view you as very judgmental. Being too harsh. Mm. It's like this person, there's no communication because of the conflict. You're acting very reserved. And you're sort of biding your time. You're waiting on a message. So I'm getting for a lot of you this silence. But most of all with this, I'm getting up there plucking the courage to approach because they don't know how you react. There's a fresh start here. Mm. But it is an highly emotionally charged situation. You're certainly nobody's fool anymore. 
You will stop and smell the roses this time. I feel in the past you jumped into this without thinking. And it kind of... It kind of backfired a little bit. Or you were swept away in the moment, put it that way. Mm. Well. Star card, the world card. Very Aquarius. There's an Aquarius in on the mix. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you see this person is very strong willed. Well, Aquarians can be. And that's not judgmental on any Aquarian watching. Hey, I'm an Aquarian. Mm. And Aquarians can be judgmental. We can be very forceful when we want to be. But uh, yeah, we think a lot. We strategize. There's a bit of strategy going on here. And yeah. I'm picking up it's not just between you two. My lions, I'm picking up. There's a there's a very strong influence from an Aquarian here or an air sign, but there could be distance here. There's travel. There's a change in circumstances. You want closure of some kind, so you, you can move on. There's a desire, wish here for some of you to get closure on this, so you can go forward in your life. Hmm. Some of you are dealing with a marriage. And as I say, there could be children involved in this. You know, question is, there's a lot of forgiveness here. And for some of you, it's who do you let go of to pursue this avenue you want to pursue of? It could be for some of you that there is a marriage here. Some of you could be married. It's either you or the person you're dealing with, and I'm not sure which it is. This is a general read. It's not a private reading. But there's there's a marriage here, and there's another person on the scenes, and it's causing conflict. The marriage has been riding stormy weather, so to speak, for a while. It would mean heavy changes of lifestyle, perhaps even relocation, this situation. Mm. There could even be an apology here. And I'm getting for, I'm speaking to one or two people here. Your partner wants to try again and put the marriage back on track. But it's a question of talking it out. Wiping the slate clean, so to speak. Not forgetting the past, but doing things very, very differently. And I'm getting here a promise of changes. And I've just seen, even at the bottom of the deck, you've got the king and queen of the same suit. And that's that's a very intense relationship, marriage. You know, father, mother. It's a, it's a family type situation here for some of you. There is children involved. And there's a huge wish, a huge desire to, you know, get back into balance with yourself. There's forgiveness here at play. Um, most of all, forgiving yourself. Mm -hmm. That's the most difficult thing. And it doesn't mean you've done something wrong. It just means, you know, we sometimes get ourselves into situations inadvertently, which, you know, with the best intentions in the world, we end up in a certain place and we wish we hadn't done and we sometimes have lack of confidence in ourselves. Sometimes we do inadvertently blame ourselves for part of it. You know, it always takes two to tango in any relationship. And the truth is nearly always in the middle. But with this, I feel... It's there's a heavy decision on trying to find solutions on how to put this right and for some of you on how to leave a situation. For the singles of you, you know, a lot of you are, are fed up with the same old, same old. You want something new. You're young. You want to explore. You want your independence. And a lot of you, I feel, will want to travel 
but it means leaving somebody behind. And the dilemma is, mm, what do you do? Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye for now.